hello guys and welcome to dtwg the prep welcome so in today's video we're going to be looking at how to find the volume of a cone so we have a cone here so um you know we're going to um, show you the parameter uh, parameters of the cone what the slant height is what the base is and all all right and also um to get the formula the uh, original GED formula math sheet. I'll leave the link in the video description box of this video so you can download one and you know follow through. Okay, I'm using the the I'm using the formula sheet itself, not just any textbook, so you don't get you know confused about the letter. You know some some textbook will use L for slant height, while but on the GED sheet it is S. For slant height so you get my point so you don't get confused all right so here we have this question it says find the volume of a cone with a height of nine feet and a base with a three feet radius to the nearest what cubic feet from our GED formula sheet the formula for the volume of a cone is one over three pi r square h okay so the height of a cone is this height is the the height from here okay to the center of its base you know a cone has uh just like you know your ice cream cone that's the shape of a cone okay but you know the ice cream cone is um flipped <laughs> okay it's the, the the base is on top you know so you know this is a country dimensional figure so the height is a perpendicular line from the tip of the cone here to the center of the base that's the height okay while your radius is also from the center of the base of the of, of the um, of the circle that's the base yes the circle to the circumference okay so this is the radius all right why the diameter is from here down here but you know this is we're giving here radius not diameter okay so our height here is what nine feet while sometimes you might see a number here or a number here in and in, in your questions okay this is called the slant height s okay but we um calculating the volume of a cone you don't need the slant height it is the total surface area of a cone that the slant height is needed which we are going to also do okay i'm going to do the video also all right so this is the height of the cone nine and the radius we are giving has what three three feet so we put plug in into our formula our pi we always be given our pi as well 3.14 if we're not given the value of pi just leave pi like that in the in the formula okay so we have here one over three times 3.14 times our radius is three square times our height is what nine okay so here uh this one a three here will cancel a three here so I just left with just one three here. So this times is 27. 27 times 3.14. We are going to get 84.7 what? 8 cubic feet. Okay, that's F raised to the power 3 cubic feet. But our question doesn't end there. It says to the nearest cubic feet. Okay, to the nearest cubic feet. So to the nearest cubic feet means immediately after. You know, this is the whole number 84, right? So immediately after the decimal point, all right, you check this number immediately after the decimal point. Is it greater than 5 or equal to 5? It's greater than 5, right? So it means we can approximate a 1 and add to this what 4 here. So here, to the nearest cubic feet is what 85 cubic feet. So this is how you would approximate to the nearest cubic feet. All right, so this is our answer all right so thank you for staying tuned please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also you can check our website for summary notes study guides free practice questions the gd formula sheets on dtwgedprep.com you can also join our facebook group we're over eleven thousand members now you know for resources motivation to know the gd in your state okay and uh, if you also require one-on-one -on -one tutoring, you can contact me. I'll leave my email in the video description box of this video. All right. So thank you. And finally, um, so thank you. And finally, just to say that 
Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for He is the way, He is the truth, He is the life. He is the one who is going to lead us to heaven at last. And also, you know, He is the one who is going to give us that life we desire here on earth, which is a life of peace, a life of love, a life of joy. Okay? So, all He's just asking from you is, you know, just give Him a chance in your life. And He's going to make everything beautiful again. All right, so he's waiting for you. Please answer the call. All right, for he is coming soon. Thank you and see you in our next video.